Former President Trump's influence in this year's midterm elections gets its first big test in tomorrow's Republican primary for Ohio's U.S. Senate seat. As John Yang reports, Trump's surprise endorsement of a one-time self-proclaimed never-Trumper has shaken up the race. Friday morning at Nana and Papa's Diner in Thornville, Ohio, about 40 miles east of Columbus. Time for this group's weekly breakfast. On the menu, eggs, French toast, biscuits and gravy, and on this last Friday before the primary election, a large side of politics. I want to talk to you guys about the Senate race, the Senate primary on Tuesday. The name that comes up again and again isn't even on the ballot. Donald Trump, who's backing Senate candidate J.D. Vance. Trump stepped up and, you know, backed J.D. Vance, you know, so. And that's what made the difference for you? Uh, absolutely. I'm 100% behind Donald Trump, so, and uh, that's who he recommended. For most of the five major candidates, and polls show no clear frontrunner, it's been a contest who could seem the most like Trump. President Trump fought for you. I'll do the same. Who's the candidate that's the true America first candidate? It's not good enough to elect Republicans. We got to elect the right kind of Republicans. They tout Trump's issues trade, immigration, and the 2020 election. There's no doubt in my mind there was fraud. Stealing the 2020 election. I believe the 2020 election was stolen. For some voters, like finance analyst Bob Beisel, who was at a Vance event near Columbus, that's a litmus test. You're not a true, I would say, put America first MAGA uh, candidate if you feel that the 2020 election was fair. The crowded Republican contest is getting far more attention than the Democratic primary, where Representative Tim Ryan is the heavy favorite. This man is going to win. Come on up, J.D. Last month in Delaware, Ohio, Trump personally blessed Vance's candidacy in the Republican primary. Ohio, do we love this guy? If you want to deliver a historic victory for America first here in Ohio, J.D. Vance is your guy. That surprised many since in 2016, Vance was a self-proclaimed never-Trumper. In an interview that year about his best-selling memoir, Hillbilly Elegy, Judy Woodruff asked Vance about Hillary Clinton's description of Trump supporters as a basket of deplorables. Is there something to what she said or is she completely off base? Well, I think it's probably both. There are definitely, there is definitely an element of Donald Trump's support that has its basis in racism or xenophobia. At a campaign event near Dayton last week, registered nurse Lisa Boucher asked Vance about his previous comments. I just can't get past how much you hated Trump. Even when I didn't like Trump personally, I liked a lot of what Trump talked about and I liked a lot of what Trump stood for. And I think if you see what I was saying at the time, uh, you, would, you would see the, the full spectrum of how I felt about it. How concerned are you about the sort of skepticism we heard today? I think some people are skeptical, some people aren't. At the end of the day, we're going to win the race. Afterward, Boucher seemed unconvinced. You can only sell yourself to a certain degree, and then for me, I'm going to go with my gut. But for Job Scott, an auto worker from Southern Ohio, Vance's change of heart mirrors his own. I think there was 15 people on the stage at one time, and he, I think he was my 15th choice. I'm just as guilty as J.D. Vance of not, you know, supporting Trump in the very beginning. Ohio has always been typically a battleground state. Scott uh, and his brother-in-law, Kevin so Black, who Trump works in finance, are both backing Vance. I liked where he came from. I liked that he came from poverty. A lot of adversity in his life. So I'd already made the decision. I mean, the Trump endorsement was just kind of an added bonus. For Black, it helped seal the deal. And if he puts his faith and some other big name players are putting their reputation behind JD, then I gotta trust what they're saying. I'm going to Washington to be reinforcements for fighters. Many observers expected former state treasurer Josh Mandel to get the Trump endorsement. In his third run for the U.S. Senate, Mandel has been a steadfast crusader for Trump's agenda. Though in Nebraska yesterday, Trump seemed confused about just who he endorsed. We've endorsed JP, right? JD Mandel, and he's doing great. Mandel is backed by Texas Senator Ted Cruz. We need a warrior to stand and fight. I'm going to work very quickly.
closely with President Mandel, who often campaigns in evangelical churches, met reporters with Cruz before an appearance near Dayton. What do you see in Josh Mandel that, that President Trump didn't see? It's easy for a candidate to say the right things. What I look for is what is the candidate's record? When have they stood and fought and bled? Other candidates also claim a link with the former president. Attorney Jane Timken was handpicked by Trump to lead the Ohio Republican Party. A lot of the candidates in this race, all of a sudden they've seen the light and they are fighting for those America First policies, but I'm the true fighter. Mike Gibbons, a millionaire investment banker, touts a Trump-like personal history. When I get to Washington, I will not know, owe anything to anybody. I cannot be bought. I've already achieved my American dream. Of the leading candidates, only state Senator Matt Dolan did not seek Trump's support. I'm the one in the race that's talking about executing. Everyone else is talking about making noise. I know who I'm fighting for, what I'm fighting for. These guys just want to create fights. This cantankerous contest is a sharp contrast to Ohio's recent tradition of mainstream statewide Republican office holders. Senator Rob Portman. That includes the man whose Senate seat is at stake, Rob Portman, a free trade, free market champion who's retiring. Last year, he helped negotiate the bipartisan $1 trillion infrastructure deal signed by President Biden. Senator Rob Portman is a really hell of a good guy. I, I'm not hurting you, Rob, because I know you're not running again. I, as always, I say it. What's changed? Vance voters Job Scott and Kevin Black have differing theories. The Ronald Reagan Republican wasn't so divisive. He didn't do anything to make anyone divisive. And I think Trump Republican has to be divisive. I'm going to say complete opposite. I'm going to say the voters haven't changed. I haven't changed. We're the same hardworking Christian, Constitution, American patriotic. That's the base of the Republican Party. So you don't think there's a difference between the Ronald Reagan Republican and the Donald Trump Republican? Much of Ohio, especially here in the rural areas, still seems to be very much Trump country. And at places like Nana and Papa's, there's no doubt about Trump's influence on the primary election. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm John Yang in Thornville, Ohio.